What's going on guys? If you're new here, my name is Jake and a little bit of background about me. I have been a strength coach for the last eight years. I'm based in Denver, Colorado, and I'm a recreational power lifter, meaning I compete once or twice a year. I wanna start a new series on my channel titled, I'm fit, but can I do that? And in these videos, I'm gonna tackle a bunch of different types of displays of fitness. So today we're tackling bouldering. It is something in my opinion that is like literally one of the coolest ways to display grip and upper body strength, but also creativity. The amount of technical skill you need to be able to scale walls and also manipulate your body into positions that are just incredible is like mind blowing to me. So we're gonna go over my bouldering progress today, talk about how I did, where I want to improve, and also how I could train differently to improve on some of the areas where I fell short. If you are somebody who is really into bouldering, Drop some comments down below, give me some pointers because I need them and I am not by any means trying to say I am an expert in this realm of fitness. Without further ado, let's dive in. So I wanna give a quick shout out to my girlfriend Nikki and my friend Mike who came bouldering with me today. You guys were awesome and supportive for helping me out. Um, so, bouldering, a little bit about what we did. So we went off of the V scale for our bouldering. So that's how we scaled the levels of difficulty for these different progressions. Uh, the V stands for vermin, which is named after John Sherman who created uh, the B-Scale. He was a legendary boulder. So we started the journey today on some easier like V-Zeros. So this gray one right here was a couple warm-ups. I took this for a couple times. Then we worked to greens. Greens at the place we go to are like V-0 to V-2. This is kind of like a, a beginner level uh, boulder course. And what I learned is that even the V-0 to V-2 roots all had a little bit of variance when it comes to difficulty. So not all the V2s were created equal and that was something I learned the hard way. But generally speaking, I was able to get up all the greens where it's were labeled V0, V2s. As you can see, like these have some good holds to them. And with my training, one area that I've never really lacked in was grip strength. My deadlift's always been really good. I played hockey growing up. So I'm, I've always had a pretty good grip. So when it comes to bouldering itself, I think one area where I do have a slight edge on others is that my grip is pretty dang good and that's even with a broken pinky here. So overall, my grip was pretty good. My forearms are absolutely cooked right now in toast, but it helped a lot on some of these lower v scaled uh, roots because there's a lot more to grab onto. Then working our way to more like V3s, v V4s, these were some of these yellows here. Um, they're definitely a bit more technical in nature. They require a bit more like, I don't wanna call it brute strength, but like finesse with some of that brute strength. So it's tying those two together and being a bit more technical with your feet. So somewhere that I failed immensely was using my feet. And if you are a legit boulder watching this, you're probably like, dude, this guy's hips are like so stiff and he didn't use his feet at all. And once I figured out like kind of how to like dig that heel in and dig the forefoot in to leverage the hamstring to pull me close on some of these roots, it made a world of difference. But even this one, like I think I completed this one, but it like was not easy. Like I was so taxed after it because all this hanging and swinging, it's just so taxing. And it's like, I can do muscle ups with ease. I can do pull ups with ease. But when you're climbing and doing some more of like endurance focused strength work, it just changes the game. So yeah, here I was able to complete it and I learned how to use my feet a little bit towards the top, which made it a lot more easy. But um, towards the bottom, yeah, it was was not that easy. As you can see, like, I come down here and I'm like absolutely fried. My forearms are cooked. That route took me like three or four tries to complete. And then this yellow was like the bane of my existence. It starts you out from a more like upright position. So I had to kind of hold on with my feet and hands to make sure I was secure on that ledge. And then you have to like climb and scale up all while reaching and using your feet to do so. And as you can see, like this one took me a lot of tries to do. I couldn't necessarily get my feet just right. I couldn't figure it out. I was trying to do this like awkward, like muscly climb, which looks cool, but also isn't efficient by any means. And I was not able to get up the first, second, third, fourth, and I think honestly fifth try. This one took me a while. My forearms were screaming after this one. And you know what's goofy is I actually, this was the first one and I made it all the way to the top, but I forgot to reach all the way up and grab it. So it didn't count and I had to do it all over again. And then I couldn't figure it out once again. So it goes to show like how technical you have to be with your movements in this type of activity. Like boulders who do this for a living or who do this as their main sport, like you deserve so many props because the amount of technique you need and the ability to literally see things in the moment and manipulate your body to accommodate for different positions is just like absolutely insane. 
Like your ability to self-organize is bar none, I think one of the best in all realms of fitness and sports. Because like in every sport we self-organize to accommodate for the tasks at hand, to match the outputs that we wanna put based on the competition, our setting and whatnot. And this is just insane because you're, on, you're by yourself, literally scaling in a position where you're unbalanced. So you're already having all of these different things against you and you're able to then mentally like do this puzzle and be like, okay, boom, boom, elbow, hip, boom, balance here, drive this amount of weight forward. Like it's insane how much proprioception skill, balance and strength and technique that real boulders have. So here we are on trial, trial number four, um, still struggling. This At this point, like my forearms were so gassed and I was trying to get that right hand up and boom, to the back the kid goes. But I think on this route, I actually made it through. Um, this is one of my, like, I like these the most, even though they were like kind of the most difficult because they do require a lot of upper body strength. I get that really engage my lats. I get to scale, I feel like Spider-Man, so I feel really cool when I do these. And they do require some level of technique that I think I can match in some respects for my abilities when it comes to a strength performance, like strength output. But I definitely need some technique work because even here, like I figured out how to get my feet more involved towards the top, which made it a lot easier. But I wasn't doing that early on and that's why you saw me fail. Here we have some V6, V8s, I believe. This is my buddy, Mike, who is <laughs> showing me how to do it. Obviously showing off a little bit, but like Mike is a fucking phenomenal athlete. Like the dude is just crazy strong in all these different ways. So this one, you literally have to do like almost a muscle up while getting your leg on top of the boulder, which is just like, what? So here's my sad, sad attempt at doing this. Like I couldn't even get off of this ledge here because my mobility is so limited in my hips that like opening up for me and like trying to keep my pelvis kind of more flat to the wall was very difficult. Like I couldn't even get my leg up there. So we're gonna go over another V6 to V8 that we tried for quite some time right here. I'm showing you the most difficult part that I got stuck on because Mike executed this perfectly. So when we go over the next few clips, keep this clip in mind because this is how it's supposed to be done. Now let me show you my awkward attempts of trying to figure this out. So it's like you have to like literally get on this tiny ledge here, balance with one arm, shift your weight forward on that right foot and like push into the wall. And then also like do like almost like a warrior lunge in yoga and reach for this far edge here. So this one took me like five or six tries. And this circles back to like the technique that is required to be able to navigate these. Because with the yellows we just did in the past couple clips, there's more brute strength. Like this is literally all technique, balance, and finesse. There is no way you can brute strength your way through this route, nor can you just like muscle your way through, which is kind of playing into my exact weaknesses in this respect. So doing this technical route was like mind blowing to me. Trying to get across um, this ledge here and like do a lunge and then push myself while balancing was like next level like thought process of trying to figure it out. And then once you get to this like kind of nook in the wall, there's a level where you have to shift your palm up get your elbow directed towards the sky, almost to where you're like in a dip position, and then put your right hand down the wall and push off the palm, and then push and pull at the same time in order to lift yourself up. So as you'll see here, like I hung out here, got stuck, and this speaks to how technical bouldering is. And anybody who's really good at this sport and this respect of fitness, like to be able to figure this out and also maintain your balance in this moment is just like, you are next level, honestly. So here I am stuck trying to figure it out. My hips are moving like the damn tin man, tin man. So like my hip mobility is terrible. And that is something I would like to work on after coming today. Like I need to work on hip mobility a bit more. And also here, my arms are getting locked up. Like I couldn't physically get my elbow up to the sky and then push off my palm. I just couldn't even get my shoulders into position there. So that's another area of my fitness and just kind of overall movement quality that I need to work on. So as you can see here, got stuck a couple times. Nikki tried it and she got just as far as I did and crushed it. Um, Nikki's literally five foot and I'm six foot. She calls it 5'11", I call it six foot. And she was able to navigate the same route with the limb lengths that she has, which is like insane because I think taller people definitely have a slight advantage when it comes to some of these bouldering routes because we have longer reach, we can jump, we can do more things with our longer reach, like little spiders we are. So props to Nikki on making it this far and almost literally getting to the top there. Um, here's another clip of me struggling just for your viewer pleasure. Uh, yeah, 
literally looking at this, like asking Mike, hey man, like, where do I go? I'm, I'm screwed, I'm stuck, I can't, I, I can't figure it out. So like that right hip right there, I should be able to open that and then with that shoulder up top, get that elbow to the roof and I, can't, I physically just couldn't get myself into position to do that. But all is not lost because then we tried some harder ones, some pinks, and I believe the pinks were, don't quote me here, but like a six to eight-ish. And this one was fun because you have to rely on balance, but then towards the top here, you have like this little area where you actually get to like jump and almost do like a little muscle up. So the first time I tried, I got close, got a nub on it, and I was like, oh, okay, I can do this. So after that initial push off here, you get yourself balanced, you're pushing yourself on your right palm, using that like kind of like whatever it's called, like the bluff to give yourself a little bit of leverage here. And then it was like just a straight shot up, jump, and then boom, pull yourself up with like a tiny little muscle up, and it was cake. That one was really fun. I really enjoyed those ones where you get to like display some more power focused movement. Then we did some conditioning to wrap up the day. So we did a little bit of crimping here. So I did some scaling and then also like more like plyo focus. Uh, I don't know what that'd actually be called in bouldering, but more of these like jumps where you're grabbing with both hands, climbing up this like kind of ladder thing. We did a three to seven jump here. So a reach with like a kind of muscle up approach. And then the final activity I finished with for some like grip work conditioning was my all time favorite activity to do, pegboard. Pegboard is like absolute like endurance strength with your grip, but also like being technical and being able to lock in that lat to hold you steady. So this is like a fantastic movement I think that I'm gonna employ way more often to improve my abilities with bouldering. But overall guys, this was an incredibly fun day and I'm gonna keep bouldering as I go throughout my career. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to do more of them, but pegboard, all time favorite movement. Whew, what a day of climbing. So a couple takeaways from the day are number one, I need to work on my hip mobility. I move like a freaking tin man. Number two, my shoulders can use some work. This left shoulder has been dislocated two times, so I definitely need to be more mindful of my mobility with it. I think it's easy to kind of mask when we're just doing more static strength work. So like for my end, doing more powerlifting focus work, but bouldering definitely highlighted where I might be falling short on my shoulder mobility and able to produce strength in various movement patterns. The third takeaway for today is that bouldering is freaking awesome and your friends who boulder deserve way more hype for the, the amount of technique, skill, and strength they're able to produce when doing this activity. Like it's so fun. If you have a bouldering gym near you, go tackle it. Even if you don't feel like you're gonna do that well, who cares? Everybody there was super cool and super nice and nobody gave a shit about your skill level. It was just a great time all around. If you guys like this series, let me know in the comments. Drop a like to the video as always. Drop a subscribe to the channel. And if you have any activities you want me to tackle next, let me know. I have a lot of good ones in mind. I have hand balancing coming. I have gymnastics, hopefully in the near future. I have some break dancing, which is gonna be just like so out of my realm. But I'm gonna try to dive into all these different realms of fitness just to see how the strength carries over from one area to the next. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.